Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we have here in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Now everything is smooth sailing in life if you go with the tide. As long as you're working with, you know, you're not fighting against the things that you're being presented with. If life's challenging, it's because we're not accepting where we are as where we're meant to be. So we need to go with the tide. It's like fighting, if you try to row up, up a river in the wrong direction, it's very difficult to do that. And that's very similar to what this card represents here. Communicate clearly. So communication is important here. You need to make it very clear what you're feeling, seeing, sensing, trickery. So there's somebody here trying to get away with something here. So let's have a look and see what this is. It's maybe facing up to something. You might have an intuition here. You might be seeing somebody for what they are here. They're causing problems. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Okay, we have the Fool. The Empress. The Ace of Cups. The Strength card, which is Leo Energy. The High Priestess, the overall central energy. The Three of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The Three of Cups. The Lover's card, which can mean, is Gemini energy, it means choices here. Choices here. Now, there's somebody trying to get away with something here. There's somebody up to no good. It could be coming to light. What Spirit's saying is you need to listen to your intuition very carefully here. It will be on point. So like I said earlier, you might have had a clue or an int your intuition might have been telling you something. Well, what's happening here is you're being shown it. Now, you've got to accept this. We're talking about everything is going to run smoothly. Remember earlier I said to you, it only happens when we're in the present. So we have to accept where we are is where we're meant to be. This coming to light is happening for a reason. It's meant to happen at this time in your life, at this moment in time. So listen to your intuition here, your gut feeling, what you're seeing and sensing um, in your environment, what's going on round about you here, because that's going to give you the information you need to go forward. Because you're going to have to make a decision here over this. And this can be a very difficult decision to make. It might have been a decision, like I say, you've been putting off because you weren't 100% sure about what's going on. But now you have to make this decision. Don't be putting off any longer. Uh, you might want to get some advice as well. It could help. Or have a wee chat with somebody. It could help, yeah, you know, clear things up in your head or get off your chest. I'm not saying it's other people's making this decision. I'm saying you might have to offload here to get the clarity you need to go forward. But the important thing here is that you communicate clearly and you make this decision. You make it clear what you're wanting how you're feeling about things because this decision is about you leaving that situation behind where there's trickery going on or the person that's going on where there's been underhandedness going on you're leaving it behind and you're starting on a brand new journey and when you accept these situations and listen to your intuition you will go forward now it's going to be feel a bit scary like i said like i said earlier this can be taking that leap of faith you're having to trust in your own judgment and trust the universe here but the universe will support you here. Uh, you can be feeling as if you're going out in a limb here. But it's going to take a lot of strength to do this, definitely. Now, remember, we're always stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Think about everything you've achieved up till now and everything you've been through that can give you the confidence and the strength to keep going here and take this risk. Um, you're starting a brand new journey and you're leaving behind whatever this trickery is, so it's, it'll, it can feel as if you're on your own but you're never on your own. Spirit has always got your back. Everything will start to fall into place. Now, these are choices that are having to be made. Now, if this is your romantic life, you could be making opportunities further down the line, or you could be taking up, if there's trickery in your relationship, you could be taking up a new romantic opportunity here for some of you as well. But it's choices about going towards happier times, letting this situation go, this person go, making it clear here you've had enough of it and you're ready to move forward and take up new opportunities, choosing the new opportunities and new path for happiness. Now, you might have to work with one person or more. Like I said earlier, you might be getting some advice of some sort. It could be building a new relationship with someone here, definitely. But you're working as a team. There's you, or, you or more than one person is working together here 
to build solid foundations for the future where there's no trickery, there's no lies, there's no deception. So if, for example, you could be taking up a new job if there's been trickery in your job environment, because this can be finances, jobs, relationships or environments. So, you know, you'll know what area of your life we're talking about here. And unfortunately, these sort of things can affect one or more area. But you're going to move on. There's new opportunities will come in. Listen to your intuition here. If you look at this middle row, listen to your intuition. Make that decision to take up new opportunities for happiness. They will appear. Don't doubt that. And you'll be able to lay more solid foundations that stand the test of time. And once you lay these solid foundations, your hard work pays off. Things go from strength to strength. And this really is about you coming into your own. It's about rebirth, rejuvenation, showing self-love here, being doing what's right for you, communicating clearly with compassion, if that's what's needed. Um, but it's about love, it's Venus energy, creating harmony. This could be pregnancy for some of you as well, if that's what you're wanting. But this is rebirth, rejuvenation. For some of you, I feel as if you're on a brand new path, it's going to, you're going to be able to rise up here. Um, I almost feel you're coming right into your own. These, there's definitely happy times ahead. There's no doubt about that. Wait for winter. Now, this is a seasonal card, depending on where you are in the, the world. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you to manifest your most heartfelt wishes I'll, as long as your intentions are for the higher good of all. And I did say here, you might have to show a bit of compassion here as well. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll show you again soon. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.